Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Collector, and welcome to my Nerd Cave. It is Saturday, and the first day I've gone shopping since, you know, all year. Um, so, where did I go? I went to uh, Second and Charles first. Then I got back to my hometown and went to a thrift store that I've never been to before. It opened about seven months ago. I didn't really know about it until, like, maybe a month or so ago, when I just randomly drove past. I'm like, hey, when the hell did that get there? But, anyway, so... And I don't know, every time I go to a new thrift store, I always get this grandeur idea that I'm going to find just gold and nothing but gold. I didn't find gold per se, but I did find some stuff, so I figured I'd make a video about it. Because I did say that I want to upload more often, uh, because it makes me feel good to, to talk about it. Uh, so what did I get? First, um, we'll start with second. Charles, I got a Bob's Burgers 2021 calendar. Uh, I needed a new calendar, and I love Bob's Burgers, so there we go. Um... And then I found this in the toy section because also from Second Charles I found a whole bunch of Tarzan figures still carded. So I picked up uh, Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle, City of Gold Tarzan, which now that I'm thinking about it I probably already have because I do remember them having a double there. So I might have accidentally picked up uh, something I don't need. <laughs> Story of my fucking life. Okay, but anyway, so it's there. Um, I also got... Because I'm trying to get all the Muppets movies on Blu-ray, uh, I picked up Muppets Take Manhattan. Um, still on the hunt for uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. So, yeah. So, Muppets Take Manhattan on Blu-ray. Pretty dope. That was one that I didn't have. In fact, I think... As far as, like, the Blu-ray releases of Muppet movies goes, I th think Muppet Christmas Carol is the only one I don't have yet. So, I also picked up, because I do not have this one just yet... Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I'm working on getting all the Disney movies, too. So, yep. I better not have this. Let me... Uh, take you on an adventure really quick. Might also step into the toy room just to be sure while I'm up. Let's see. And I do not. Dope! <coughs> hmm. Okay, so now we're going to check on this. Ah, uh, I do not have this. Cool. Huh, okay. Noise. Okay, yep. Yeah. So, here we go. So I have added a new Tarzan toy to the collection. <clears throat> okay, so I just covered Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That's the signature collection. The reason I went to Second Charles today is because I had a $10 off coupon that expired today, so kind of had to. Uh, and last but certainly not least, because I am such a big Criterion collector, this has been on my list to get for a while. Lars von Trier's Antichrist with Willem Dafoe. Uh, I have heard this is a intense and very fucked up movie. So it's probably a watch once and be done with it. And that's it for Second Charles, I do believe. So we'll go to the uh, thrift store that I've never been to before. Um, I got this because I have the counterpart for it. Uh, it's a rubber hollow bell. And let me get up and show. See, I've got the beast up there, very similar. And boom. Noise. So, yeah. <sighs> I think she was like 99 cents or, I don't know, something like that. Um, this is one that I've been wanting to pick up for a while. I never find them in good shape, which kind of figures, but, um... I had him as a kid, and to be 100% honest, I have no idea if this is from the same run as when I was a kid, because Disney is t what has always been terrible about putting year stamps on their toys, but it's Buzz Lightyear. Uh, this is the best condition one I've ever seen in the thrift store. He's still got his jetpack. Of course, he's missing the front of his helmet. Uh, always is. But, uh, yeah, I mean, um, he's not in stellar condition. But you know what? Uh, maybe I can get him to work. 
somehow. Either way, uh, it's just kind of cool to have Buzz Lightyear back in the collection. So, um, this guy, I have no idea who he is or what toy line he is. It says Largo Toys and does not have a year or anything, but he kind of looks like Bruce Lee. So. I don't know. I figured it'd be worth picking up, and like, even if I, it's nothing, and I didn't pay much. But I think it was like twenty-five cents. So, uh, this was also twenty-five cents, and of course I grabbed it because it is Krang's uh, Walker. Uh, of course, it's missing the arms and Krang himself, but um, and I've already got one, so that's probably gonna go to total nostalgia. Uh, or I'll hold on to it until I find a Krang to put in it. But, um, yeah. It's always good to find Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. They're super common, but still. And this is the last thing from the thrift store. A uh, couple Game Boy games. Uh, which I haven't picked up retro games in forever on this channel. Or in real life. Um, so anyway, what did, are they, um... That's actually a really fucking good question because I this one the label's torn, but I'm thinking it is Home Alone 2 on Game Boy. I might have to pop it in and uh, just verify, but I'm yeah, it looks like Home Alone 2, but we'll see. It'd be wild if that was like a million dollar game that like something that I've never heard of or anything. And then uh, let's see, this is volleyball for Game Boy. I mean, you know, it's a retro game for, like, I think two bucks. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. A uh, nice, quick little seven-minute video uh, of a haul from two different stores. And uh, I'd say I picked up some pretty decent stuff. Stuff I didn't have. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I have been the Nostalgia Collector. Uh, remember, physical media will never die. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.